What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch today from Pixar, the teaser trailer for the film Elemental. And, of course, joining me today is co-host John. How are you, John? I'm feeling animated. How are you, sir? I'm feeling animated, too. Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and leave a like. That helps us out in the algorithm. And also, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. Also, because I uh, got some reactions to some movies coming up, a decor line that's going up tomorrow. Going to be shooting with a returning guest, Sarah Erickson, for the movie Disenchanted. And then there's some other ones in the works that you might be surprised I haven't seen yet. <laughs> but, hey, just keep a lookout for that. Alrighty, let's see what the Elemental trailer is all about. It's the 27th Pixar movie. Ooh. So they can't die now. Element City. <laughs> I, cool. I. Oh, it's got like that soul animation. Earth people, water people, air people, fire, fire. people. The universes have to be connected. I mean, come on, look at this. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Helped him out. Good visual comedy. Windbreakers. <gasps> oh, you're dangerous to be around. Sorry. I'm Wade. I'm Ember. Ooh, meet nice you. to meet you, Wade and Ember. Opposites react. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Well, that looks beautiful. John, what are your first thoughts? Yeah, it looked really gorgeous and a, and a very easy way to introduce us to what this new world is going to be like. What if the different elements of our natural world had feelings? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I loved just this little glimpse at the design, at the world, at the different people and character designs and whatnot. Uh, yeah, the animation looks really beautiful, really stylized, certainly, but also just so tangible with the textures and uh, especially when you're looking through the water, when you're looking at the flames. True, I agree. Uh, the Earth characters with the plant, you know, life and all that stuff is... Uh, it's quite beautiful, and I think you're onto something there with like the, it being that this seems to be another faculty of just the existence of the natural world. It's got to be happening somewhere in a similar plane to stuff like, uh, you know, Soul and maybe even Inside Out. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like that all those theories about connecting to the Pixar universe have got to be true to some extent because I'm looking at the animation, I'm like, yeah, this seems very reminiscent of other films that have come before it uh, within the Pixar camp. I'm about to confess something to you guys. Uh, I've only kind of seen Inside Out. What happened is, without saying anything that'll get me in trouble with YouTube community guidelines, <laughs> is I ate a certain something Ah, that um, <laughs> 20 minutes in, sure. I passed out, <laughs> and uh, I don't remember what I saw. <laughs> so, you took a melatonin. <laughs> That's yeah, we'll say that. That's what that's called. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, when people talk about Inside Out, it's usually a lot of nodding my head. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. yep. And I'm like, I have no idea what yep. happened in that movie. <laughs> I no like old. So yeah, that's one of the movies I want to react to <laughs> yeah. without eating anything prior. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> looking this up on Disney Wiki, uh, the synopsis for this is: In a city where fire, water, land, and air residents live together, a fiery young woman and a go with the flow guy. Who I'm imagining is that water guy. Wade. Wade are about to discover something elemental. How much they actually have in common. Oh, snap. Is that like inside of <laughs> I imagine. Um, I mean. Something about emotions. Exactly. I'm, just, okay, yeah, like, I'm trying to just it, theorize here off a movie. Out is, <laughs> it's more like you, you have a character experiencing things and then you zap inside their head to see what all their different uh, spectrum of emotions are doing to control and or oh, whoa, mitigate. Whoa, whoa. Don't go too far here. All right. I have seen the movie. Setup. <laughs> it's just the setup. It's yeah, just the right. setup. Yeah. It's the premise. Um, but it's okay. This is by the director of The Good Dinosaur. So you're in for something totally. I have seen The Good Dinosaur, and I actually enjoyed that movie. I feel like that movie's not appreciated enough. 
But yeah, I mean, I feel like this will be one of those movies that will probably have. I, I'm not familiar with these actors, uh, Leia Lewis, and I'm. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Namadu, Mamodu, <laughs> Athi. I'm not familiar with them, but it's cool to get a, you know an animated movie where the voice actors are not like super famous yeah. celebrities. You yeah, know? absolutely. I'm, sh- I'm sure they have work that probably some of you guys are very much familiar with. I'm personally not, but usually it looks like they try to slap on like really famous names in there that everyone knows. And I like that they're just relying on the Pixar name for this. And with the idea of exploring elements, I feel like this is kind of a, that's it's, it's a common property exploration they've done before. Like, oh, these characters represent elements and what do those, per- what are those personalities and even though a lot of the time they can feel like they are opposing, but finding out the similarities and how they kind of necessitate each other in terms of balance and also that you can't really exist without the other. I like the idea of exploring that through this animated medium that is the glory of Pixar. So I imagine that like many of these great Pixar movies, that there'll probably be a lot of funny moments in there, that there'll probably be some, just, yeah, absolutely adventurous sweeping times, but perhaps get emotional and and then you know i like i like when pixar goes a little bit ethereal i I like when they go into this dreamlike realm you know soul was my favorite movie of the year that it came out and i'm enjoying what i'm seeing so far i'm I'm curious to see what kind of the musical influences are because i got a little bit of like into the spider verse vibes for some reason when she goes onto the train and puts the headphones on because clearly there's there's something about her being fire that seems like she can't just be herself like she has to be hidden like there's there's this uh, the the sense that i was getting is that she's not accepting of herself yeah. just because of the fact that she has to remain hidden and seems a little bit meek even though she can be like explosive and dangerous and kind of like a rogue x-men situation well yeah, yeah. i wonder <laughs> if maybe that's a thing for the fire people of this world in general yeah. is maybe you're you know more prone than any of the other elements to accidental True. destruction or or lashing out in ways you didn't maybe intend to and i bet there will be a personal journey to be learned from that and i'm sure that you know wade will probably need to learn maybe to conduct the flow and not just go with the flow True, you know, true. So. Yeah, they can learn from each other. Absolutely. Opposites podcast. react this year, 2023. Woo! Democrats versus Republicans. Let's get it going, guys. <laughs> All righty. Well, what did you guys think of this Elemental trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, go ahead, subscribe, click that bell, leave a like. Last but not least, let's end this with a Patreon. It's only fitting that we shout out Everett Pixelmite Baker. A might. Considering that this is a movie made of pixels here. That's right. Um, but Everett, looking at your Patreon account, it seems that you have been here for 51 months. Ooh. You have been baking that pledge. <laughs> like, well, 12 times 4 is 48, so uh, four, 4 years and 3 months. That's a good amount of Dude, time, man. It's almost ready. It's hot and gooey, that pledge. Thank you so much for being here for, for like, wow, that's, uh, that is a commitment. Yeah. So um, I really, really appreciate it. We both do. And uh, I want you to have a, a happy holiday season. And I hope that you're able to spend time with loved ones and family and, you know, friends, whoever it may be, pets, the internet, you know, go on some sites, pay to use some things. I don't really know what you got to do to make yourself feel good, but do whatever it takes to feel good because you deserve it. Thank you, friend. We'll talk with you soon.